I remember parking in my parking spot and my friend Aaron parks right next to me. I walked inside with Aaron and I went to my locker first and then I met her back at her locker and then I don't remember anything after that. It was about 8, 10 in the morning and I got a call from one of the school counselors and she said, Olivia fainted at school, can you get here? And at that point I didn't know um, how severe it was. So Olivia had what's called a cardiac arrest. What was done is they started doing CPR, which is exactly the right thing to do. When the fire department arrived, an AD was placed, which is a automatic external defibrillator, and they delivered a electric shock to restore the rhythm back to normal. So when I walked in the hospital, the, the ER doc came out and, I, um, and everyone was crying and I said, is she alive? And she looked at me and she said, we're doing everything we can. She said, it's, it's bad and we're sending her to Loyola. My family hadn't arrived yet, and I started to pray. There was a really nice chaplain, her name was Maria, and she walked by and she said, do you want me to pray with you? And, um, and so she sat and prayed with me until my family arrived. When she arrived, she was incredibly unstable, that at any moment her heart could have stopped again. Um, at any moment um, we could have had a um, complete inability to use her lungs. It was clear that her heart has take, had taken a huge hit from this insult. So what we did is we actually put her on something called ECMO. So it's basically putting the patient on a pump that takes the place of the heart and the lungs. Within a matter of minutes we had the cardiac surgical team at the bedside. It allowed basically her heart to recover from the injury and then she was weaned off of it in a few days. I remember kind of like coming to and then falling back asleep and then coming to and I didn't know what was going on but I knew I couldn't talk so I started to sign and I the first thing I said I said where am I what happened and the doctor in the ICU said oh that's a very good sign because if she can sign her brain is working from there it just like felt like every day she was making the right kind of progress we're so proud of her, and this is not how we thought we would be ending her senior year. My senior night actually happened while I was in the hospital, and that was really hard for me, but also really amazing because everyone made it really special. So that was one of the most touching things for me. We met Dr. V pretty early, and he said, you know, we don't know why this happened, but we, our job is to make sure this isn't ever going to happen to her again. So she's going to need a defibrillator. Because the role of an internal defibrillator, and this is the one that Olivia received, is to basically function like a paramedic. So it's just sitting in her body, it's constantly checking the rhythm. And if, if the patient goes into a life-threatening arrhythmia, it will automatically kick in and, and restore the rhythm back to normal. Loyola is not nearby for us, but we just have such confidence in the team at Loyola and they have such compassion for Olivia. They know her. They really know her. When patients like Olivia come back and we can see all of that teamwork, like that that's the incredible outcome, it really does like lift us up and reminds us why we're doing this every day. I'm just I'm really thankful for this whole process and so I'm just, I'm so thankful for um, God looking out for me and um, the way that everything kind of fell into place. The stars were really aligned for Olivia and we really think God has big plans for her.